Hi Brian, welcome to Domino. How did Domino and Dino Precision Pump start working together and when? Um, they were approached by uh, Domino to find a solution to a particular problem they had at the time with a couple of part numbers. And Dino Precision Pumps came up with a, uh, quite an innovative uh, solution at the time, a pump that would handle um, all inks. Brian, how's it been working with Domino? Uh, well, it's been very good. In, in terms of developing a new machine, uh, and optimizing the components for that machine, it's very important for uh, our engineers to be able to communicate effectively. And we have a very good working relationship uh, between our engineers and your engineers. In terms of application, how demanding is this? Um, well, again, this has been very uh, demanding and it's the nature of the, the business that um, your customers need their machines operating all the time. So one of the, uh, the goals with the development of the Silencer product range was to um, achieve a pump that lasts the life of the machine. So we were able to increase uh, the lifetime of the pump considerably, more than 50%. This pump is at the heart of our printer. Can you tell us what makes it unique? Uh, well, this particular pump, the Silencer product range, is, is unique in that it was developed specifically for the continuous inkjet market. So it was an attempt to answer some of the problems uh, that were being account encountered. Specifically, uh, it had to have low pressure ripple, low pressure pulsation. Brian, can you tell me a little bit about the manufacturing process in Switzerland? Yes, we're, we're qualified to ISO 9001, but also to ISO 13485, which is a medical quality standard. Uh, this means that we are able to have complete traceability of all processes and all components and all materials that go into the pumps. All pumps are 100% tested and they're all laser marked uh, with the part number and the serial number which allows us to, uh, to go back to, tip, for example, production test records and uh, material sources. Brian, thank you for coming in and um, I'm sure we'll see you again.